Hi everyone! In today's video, we're going to be splicing two optical fibers using DVP700 Fusion Splicer. As we haven't had the video reviews of this particular splicer before, let's briefly go through the packaging and the design of the device itself. As you can see, it comes in a proper convenient storage case. The packaging includes a manual, items holder, two strippers, the first one for removing the cable jacket and the second one for removing protecting coating from the fiber optic cable, a cooling tray, a fiber cleaver which comes in a separate case, replaceable holders for making patch cords, Fair electrodes, the shoulder strap, power adapter, a set of hex keys, a knife, and the fusion splicer itself. The design of the splicer is very decent, it weighs around 2 kilos. On the side, we've got a power switch and the charging port. At the back, there's a sticker with a serial number and the date of production. We also have a rotating display, so let's switch it on. You'll we'll also have a look at the splicing area itself. Here, we've got two movable fiber optic holders, as well as the heat shrink compartment separately at the top. Let's go through the control buttons on the device. On the left side, there are buttons that will help you to set up the device. On the right, the buttons to control the splicing and heat shrinking processes. Okay, it looks like we've covered the theory, so let's start with the splicing itself. First of all, you'll need to remove the outer insulation coating using the striper with a green handle. The protective Kevlar fibers should be cut with special scissors. Now, using the other striper, we'll need to remove the protective coating from the optic fiber itself. Don't forget to clean it with lint free wipes dipped into alcohol solution. Now, we will be using a cleaver to make an even cut of the optical fiber. The same steps need to be followed for the other fiber optic cable. And the most important, don't forget to put on the heat shrink tube before the splicing process. Now we need to put our cables into the splicer and fix them with the holders. Shut the cover and run the splicing process. This particular model of the splicer takes 9 seconds to splice. The DVD740 uses a core-to-core -core alignment method that ensures the lowest splice loss. As you can see, other loss is 0 decibels. After the splicing, move the previously installed trim tube under the splicing area and place everything into the heat shrink compartment. The shrinkage time is 35 seconds. Now we can remove the cable from the compartment and place it on the cooling tray. As you can see, the result turned out to be pretty good, both visually and taking into account the losses. Many thanks for watching.